Hi, my name is Edgars. In this video, I will explain what is SWOS, which devices support it, and how to use it. So what is it? SWOS, or also called SwitchOS, is lightweight operating system, designed for Microtik Switch products. SWOS can be accessed only through a web browser, so there is no Winbox or SSH. But it gives you a nice graphical and easy to use configuration options. You can quickly set up VLANs, ACL rules, and more. But what about supported devices? How can I find which device supports SWOS, RouterOS, or both? The short answer is, you need to check the product specification. Every switch product shows what operating system is supported. You will find SWOS, SWOS Lite, RouterOS and SWOS, or Dual Boot, and some products do not support SWOS at all. You can also tell by the product name. For example, if the name starts with CSS, or Cloud Smart Switch, the device supports SWOS. If the device starts with CRS, or Cloud Router Switch, it definitely runs RouterOS. Some CRS models, like most of the CRS 300 series, support a dual boot feature, and you can choose which one to use. This table shows a summary of supported SWOS devices at this time. Ok, let's now look at how to connect to the switch. If you have a SWOS only device, like CSS 610, all you need to do is power the switch and enter the IP management in your web browser. By default, the switch is running a DHCP client, so check your DHCP server leases or see in Winbox neighbor list. You can see the IP address is shown here. If the switch cannot get an IP from DHCP, it will use a fallback IP, which is 192.168.88 and 1. For this case, you might need to change a static IP on your computer from the same subnet. After we know correct IP address, it will ask you to log in, and by default, it uses admin and without a password. The first step is to change the password and change the IP management access if needed. So let's use the old password, it is none, a new password, something secret. Change password. Then see if there are any software updates. You can use an automatic um, upgrade tool if your PC has a internet access. But you can also download the software file from Microtik homepage and upload it later manually. In case something goes wrong and you lose management access to the switch, you can restore the switch to the defaults using a reset button. Just press and hold the button while powering the device for a few seconds and it will load the primary SWOS and reset any previous configuration. Ok, but what about dual boot? How to use SWOS on these devices? If your device supports dual boot, you can change the boot options from routers. Use system, router boot, settings, set boot OS SWOS, and now your device is ready to reboot. But before you do that, you can actually change some SWOS settings from routers. Use system SWOS, here you can change, for example, a static IP address, uh, you can change password and so on. So I will show how to use static IP address. Okay, and when you are ready, you can re reboot your switch. And here you can see the switch is booted into SWOS. And a very important detail is that SWOS and RouterOS do not synchronize any configuration. So if you add some VLANs on RouterOS, you will need to redo the same steps in SWOS and vice versa. From SWOS, you can boot back to RouterOS using the boot RouterOS button. If your device comes with a serial console, you can select which OS to use during the booting process. Connect through serial and reboot your device. For a very short moment, it will prompt you to enter the router boot menu by pressing any key. Then you can change the boot OS, pressing the JK and select SWOS. And exit the setup with XK. Sometimes we get questions about which OS to use. Well, it depends on your setup and preference. Both systems have very similar performance, because they both use the same hardware and switch chip. 
Swoss only supports layer 2 switching, so if you are looking for a very simple layer 2 switch and need to change only a few settings, try Swoss. But if you manage large networks and looking for more monitoring and automatization options and want to configure layer 3 routing, you should choose RouteOS. That's it for this video. For more details and configuration examples, please visit our help page. I hope you like this video and thanks for watching.